Hello guys, uh, today I decided to make a video that I promised you to make for a long long time. Uh, this will be the video from the supermarket. So uh, right now I'm in Vladivostok, you know, that's uh, far east of Russia. Uh, and now we will uh, visit uh, the supermarket. We will see how it works now, what we have now. The supermarket is called Sambiri. I'm just a supermarket not far from my area. And I will show you what kind of prices we have here. Uh, just you can be sure that the prices here will be much higher than in other parts of Russia because we live here in the Far East and here everything is more expensive actually. So let's see what is it. You know that I lived in the European part of Russia for more than half a year and now I've been living here for two months or three months. For three months I live uh, here in Vladivostok and uh, to be honest I'm a bit scared to go to the supermarkets here because after my life in the west of Russia I see these prices and, and uh, it's much higher than I'm used to, to buy there. So there I can buy just for some, th some thousand troubles. Uh, food for one week Here you can find different types here of we bread like uh, the one that was made at the factory and baked in the supermarket Bread in Russia is cheap and tasty M&M's, I think it's too expensive One kilo of uh, watermelon is almost one dollar in August watermelons become cheaper it depends on where it is from Tomatoes aren't expensive now, but that's uh, Chinese ones. Tomatoes were expensive in Sochi, but it was winter. So the milk uh, depends on what kind of milk uh, it cost. Kind of expensive in Vladivostok, you know. Uh, in the western part of Russia, it cost uh, much cheaper. You can buy just for less so than guys, one dollar. Like, <laughs> what do you think about this? I'm sure that in your country. Uh, Depends on where you watch me from, it's cheaper. But don't forget that middle and real middle seller in Russia is around, I don't know, very low. And uh, for us, uh, if you rent an apartment, buy food, uh, uh, that's kind of expensive. So don't forget that our salaries are different, so food is, will cost different. But anyway, I, I think uh, we have enough uh, fresh food. I see a lot of fresh uh, apples, <laughs> vegetables, fruits. Uh, I don't know, usually uh, during the winter time we have like Chinese one. Um, we have Chinese uh, vegetables and uh, now also I think we have some of them are Chinese, some of them are from here where I live. No, that's China, Chinese. It's algae, the taste of my childhood, I would say. We call it nori. You might be interested in cola. Uh, I don't drink it, uh, but this one is Russian. You see different bottles, different uh, companies, I guess. Here again, uh, seaweed. Seaweed with the seafood, such as uh, squid. Such salads are also very popular and very delicious. Anyway, uh, I think here we have everything I need. Uh, I cannot even imagine what I cannot find here that I would need in my just ordinary life. And we have uh, this uh, supermarket is um, popular here in the Far East, uh, in the area where I live. But we also have uh, now Pichorochka, you know, this supermarket. Uh, I also can make video from there. That's interesting. That um, like to show what is the difference in prices between uh, Vladivostok and uh, Petersburg or Sochi. For example, all these things. Uh, what is different? That all these things that I will show you now. Uh, that all these uh, things I could buy there much cheaper and that uh, what I really like there in the West that they have um, discounts almost for everything you just come into the supermarket and you see like 
minus 50% almost for everything. Here we don't have it and I would say that uh, if we compare the prices in Vladivostok and uh, uh, supermarkets in, there in Moscow, Sochi, so St. Petersburg, it's higher uh, like for 20% maybe and also we don't have these discounts. We have a bit, a bit just small but don't. My favorite candies that are produced here in Vladivostok, we call it bird's milk. I hate this self-service cash desk, something is constantly not working here and the people who are supposed to help are very aggressive. Here again some candy, sweets and uh, you see if you have a special card, some products you can buy cheaper. Uh, toilet paper is something that with any problem or danger people in Russia start buying like crazy These people also don't like this self-service cash test Have you like sushi? Sushi and of course we have I also can make a video about this um, when uh, you guys ask me like what about McDonald's in Russia I can tell you that we didn't have McDonald's uh, in Vladivostok we had it just for maybe one year before it was closed uh, and I can tell you that we had a lot of uh, places where you can eat fast food uh, but uh, we didn't have McDonald's so I didn't feel any uh, changes because I didn't see any changes because uh, I've never known what is it. First time I tried McDonald's maybe in Europe when I was in Germany, so I was 20, 22, <laughs> 23 years old and before I never tried this. So uh, when it was closed actually I didn't see any changes because I just didn't have it <laughs> before. <laughs> Of course, when it was open in Vladivostok, as always, we had you know million people there, and uh, everyone wanted to try. We we had crowds of people. They were like outside. They were all in crowds, and a lot, a lot of people. But now you see that almost there is no one here or there. Um, I know that prices there also changed, but I don't know. I need to check it. Actually, it's more expensive uh, here in McDonald's than in. Uh, European part, like uh, in Sochi, in St. Petersburg, it's a bit cheaper. Uh, not much <laughs> cheaper, but uh, some different in prices we have. And for me, that's strange. Like, why? Because of the delivery or what? So, guys, write me what would be more interesting for you. And also, of course, uh, if you wanna support my channel. Uh, you can read uh, the description for this video because well, I almost don't get anything from these videos <laughs> except of my students who come to me from this channel I don't get almost nothing especially without now when I don't have PayPal I don't get anything from these videos if it was uh, interesting you can support me <laughs> that will be very good if you want to help to my projects uh, you can do this uh, link the description or write me, I will tell you how to do this.